KHO and 2 weather, Kamaka Pili. First and foremost, happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. You can see my father doing what he loves to do, fishing. Unfortunately, that wasn't today. That was from last year. But fishing nonetheless, happy Father's Day to my father. Now, looking at what we're seeing tomorrow, slight changes, nothing very drastic. We do have a moderate level of rain chances, and that's for portions of the state. Our winds are low, and that's what we're going to really be seeing in the next couple days. Now, looking at this water vapor imagery, we, we see this spiral uh, motion going on northwest of Kauai. That's an upper-level disturbance. And that's what brought in some high level clouds for Kauai in particular, but portions of Oahu as well. Today, also the Kailua uh, Kailu Kona coast of Hawaii Island were the areas that seen most of the cloud coverage. Every place else had been seeing less cloud coverage, more blue skies coming through. And as we move in through this last full week of the month, what we're going to be seeing in terms of our winds is we're going to be seeing this light wind trend which we've already started to experience today but that's going to move through Tuesday uh, Monday Tuesday into Wednesday by the time we get to Wednesday evening that's when we're going to start to see the trade winds return and strengthen because that high pressure system will be strengthening at that same time what we're going to be seeing for the next couple days though for the central and the west end of the state will be a lighter trade wind flow because Maui and Hawaii Island will start to be blocking those trade winds as it veers more in the southeasterly direction because of this cold front further up north, but also that upper level disturbance that I just showed you. Now in terms of shower activity, what we're going to be seeing, nothing really extravagant, but for Kauai in particular and Oahu, we have a an, an greater chance of rain shower tomorrow and possibly even Tuesday until that upper level disturbance moves away. And for the rest of the islands, we're going to just be seeing just this typical scattered showers, some toppled over towards the central areas, mainly for Hawaii with the stronger trade winds. But for Kauai, what we're seeing again for tomorrow, which is seeing the greatest chance of of rain 60 to 70 percent and that will slightly decrease throughout the rest of the day and here on Oahu at least the Honolulu area we're looking at about 30 to 50 percent chance throughout the day and start to ease up during the night now tonight what we're going to be seeing up until then most of the increase of shower activity is happening for Kauai a lot of shower activity taking place on the coastal shorelines other than that for the rest of the state it's been pretty quiet now we are looking again it is hurricane season so two disturbances in the East Pacific if you don't already have it make sure you download that KHON2 app for ocean conditions the south swell will start to decrease but we're looking at three to five footers the rest of the shorelines will be calmer tomorrow now what we're seeing in the coming days again slight increase of shower activity tomorrow. Trade winds will return Wednesday, strengthen into the weekend. Sam, back to you.